is to open your heart to another pet in need of a loving family. Shamara came to the Houston SBCA after her dog passed away to see if she could find a new pet to love. She saw Rosa and was completely taken by her sweet, expressive little eyes. Rosa, a three-month-old Chihuahua Terrier mix, had been in the care of the Houston SPCA for almost a month while recovering from a severe wound on her flank. The Houston SPCA's 24-hour injured animal ambulance had dispatched late one night to rescue the little pup. She had multiple puncture wounds, which may have been from an, being attacked by a cat and there was a risk of infection. That little face is so adorable. So After Rosa's wound was treated and healed, she was ready to spend the rest of her life being loved by oh, Shamara. What a perfect oh. pairing right there. Now joining us from the Houston SPCA is Brian Latham and little Lola. No, speaking of cute faces. <laughs> this is Lola. Oh my goodness. She's so just precious. how many weeks old now? Lola is eight weeks old. She's a shepherd mix. Uh, she just came out of a foster home and we learned a lot about her. She's a, a really high energy pup. She'd make a great addition to a family that um, with older kids uh, who can give her a lot of attention. Um, not a quiet dog. She needs a, she needs a place to play. And, Probably and needs some outdoor space she, to run around as well. She, uh, she's very playful. She, um, she, um, she's full of life. She's full of energy. She's a real sweetheart. She's going to get really yes. big, isn't she? Uh, she's at least going to be medium sized to, to maybe towards the larger size for sure. One but, of the uh, things I love, her little paws. She's super cute. Yeah, you can see the little white on her paws and she, and she gets really good puppy kisses, don't you? <laughs> and Brian, we should point out that when people come to the Houston SBCA to adopt a new family member, uh, they're good to go. They've had all their shots and vaccinations and everything, right? Absolutely, they've had all their vaccinations. Uh, they're up to, uh, up to date with all of the uh, required tests and everything that they need. They are spayed or neutered. Um, they are ready to go the day that you adopt them. That is great. She's going to go super quick, I'm sure. She'll, She'll make someone very happy. Oh, I bet. Someone should come get her today. Brian, thank you, thank Brian. you so much. And little Thanks, Lola. Lola. Thanks for having We're us. We're wishing you a wonderful home to go oh. to. Now, for more information <laughs> on how you can adopt Lola or other animals, you can visit HoustonSPCA.org. Oh, how nice. Now, that's if you are looking for to spend some time at the theater this weekend, there are plenty of great performances happening tonight and Sunday. The Houston Shakespeare Festival. You know, we had some of the folks, some of the performers on recently. They're going to present Richard III at the Miller Outdoor Theater. The show starts at 8.15 p.m. It is free. However, you can donate if you want to get in on one of their premium seats. All right. Tonight and tomorrow at Match Houston, you can catch Tamarie's Merry Evening of Mistakes and Regrets. It's a fresh take on a cabaret style show. Huh. Mistakes and regrets. It sounds like it's about my last relationship, huh? No, it's actually a musical comedy, and the info is online at matchhouston.org. And tonight and Sunday at the Alley Theater, you can catch Alfred Hitchcock's classic 39 Steps. It's a comedy about a man accused of a murder he didn't commit. It is based on the 1935 classic by Albert Hitchcock, and it promises to keep you full of laughs. All right. My mom loves that show, by the way. Coming up next, we're going to give you the update on your weekend concerts, and Annie Moses Band performs once again. Stay with us.